Hi everyone, this is Anna Finch from Finch Press Publishing. Hope everyone's had a safe holidays. Now today's video is actually a book review. I will be reviewing a fictional text. I'll be reviewing The Hunger Games. Now 2019 was actually the first time I read The Hunger Games. I had watched the movies but I had never read the book. Now the reason why I read it is because it was actually on the school curriculum so I was actually required to teach The Hunger Games novel as a dystopian text. Now you can see it's fairly large it's a fairly large book. Now reading wise this is not something I would pick up. Personally I think this book is too long. Reading through it there were sections of it that were completely dry. This is for me personally I found it fairly dry especially in the middle section. This is where the most action is supposed to be happening but even though there is action happening I don't find it engaging. I read it because I had to and I'm reviewing it because if there's anyone who's deciding on what text to study for or put on the book list this is way too long for a dystopian text. Especially for year nine students. The classes I had I had students with fairly low literacy levels and for students with fairly low literacy levels or behavior issues this book is way too long. Reading through it the first part of it was interesting this is because I enjoy the more emotional conflict rather than actual physical conflict when reading a book. I do like action movies and I like the movie version of the book because I, I was actually engaged in it but as a book the same information in the book I found it dry. I do not I do not like a lot of action in the books or if there is action it needs to serve a purpose but a lot of the time in the sections where there's action happening all you get and because it's written in first person now I write in first person for um, a lot of my work but because it's written in first person you get a lot of information from Katniss's point of view which isn't a bad thing you get to know the character however um, in some sections there's to, especially in the sections in the middle where there's supposed to be a lot of fighting and physical conflict as well as emotional conflict and trauma some of those areas are pointless I read some of those areas in the middle were completely pointless this could have been half the length I personally did not really enjoy the book some sections I enjoyed the beginning of it I actually liked so getting to see the tributes um, getting to know Katniss's struggles with the games and why she was in them I enjoyed it so getting the first section of the book so the actual like tributes being selected so part one of it I, I like part two two the whole part two section could have been half there were some parts in there that didn't really influence the story in any big way the bits with Rue bits with Rue and her losing Rue and feeling that sort of emotion and that emotional conflict that was the most powerful part in the section but some of the conflict in here wasn't built upon so you had bits and pieces some of the other tributes you knew that because she was from district 12 she was considered not as likely to win as the career district that's the only real connection between the careers and Katniss you don't explore anything so you don't know why they hate her or if, if they hate her or why they really want her dead and why they were actually specifically going for her in the first place beyond the fact she got a high score. Now if maybe in the start she had a conflict directly with one of the careers and that triggered them into actually considering to go after her then I would find it a bit more engaging because you can actually see the connection like yeah he actually hates her guts beyond the fact that she got a high score seriously that's the only reason why the careers go after her she got a high score there's no real development for any of the career characters they're just there they're just there and the only purpose is to die and to just present some sort of challenge for Katniss some of the characters are not fairly developed Peter and Katniss from the most developed characters which makes sense because they're the main characters but some of the other characters don't have any purpose beyond the fact they're there to serve as a barrier for Katniss. That's the only reason why they're there. They have no real clear personalities. You know nothing about them beyond the fact they're a career tribute or they're a tribute from so-and-so district. There's no real build-up for that conflict. So they go just they just get thrown into the arena, they fight, they die. That's the and I don't find that sort of thing engaging. Now in the movie I found it engaging simply because I was viewing it 
and well, I wasn't reading a thick book. In a movie you can get away with one dimensional characters because it's done in such a short period of time and you've only got a small window of opportunity to really tell a story. So you can get away with slightly one dimensional characters or characters whose only reason for hating another character is they beat me in the score that I got for the assessment. So you can get away with that in a movie, not in a book. So while a lot of people enjoy The Hunger Games as a novel, I personally don't. Some bits were interesting and I was engaged and I could see why this was such a popular book and why they made a movie from it. But there were parts of it where I felt mentally drained. I'm like reading it and I'm like, I'm only reading this bit because I have to, because I have to teach it. As a novel, if you're teaching a dystopian text to year nine students, especially if they've got issues with literacy or behavior, this is not the best text. It's a dystopian text, yes, but it's not the best one to use. Now, most people have heard of The Hunger Games. The majority of people know, practically everyone knows what The Hunger Games are. They've watched the movie or they've read the book before. Some people like the book, some people don't. Me, personally, I don't really like the book. The movie was different, and I like the movies, most of them, but the book, not so much. Now, if I was teaching the film text rather than the book, I may have found it a bit more interesting to teach. Now, this is all my personal opinion. If you disagree with me, that's fine. But everyone has different tastes, but this is not to my taste. It's not something I like to read. I like dystopian texts, don't get me wrong, but the way this was written, especially some sections, was not the most engaging thing to read. I wanted to skip whole sections because I couldn't see the point in it, in what was in there. So I'll go into my rating. Now as a piece of literature, as a novel, it is well written. The language is clear. Some sections I found engaging. The language wise it's writ well written. Story wise I didn't find it the most engaging in a whole chunk of it. The beginning was well set up, the characters well developed in the beginning, but some of the conflict it wasn't actually built upon, particularly the emotional conflict for the other characters. Again even though it's a, it's a first person novel so the most important characters are Katniss and Peter and the people around her that directly connect to Katniss but there wasn't any built up conflict between any of the other characters. The char other characters were pretty one-dimensional and their role in the story was one-dimensional it was it really didn't serve a purpose. Um, as a tech, like as a piece of literature I'd probably give it six out of ten. A bit better than average. This is mainly because I really didn't enjoy it. It's not something I actually like. As a text for studying for the Australian curriculum, but so for English because you do study a dystopian text. If you've got kids in the class that are strong readers and can read for sustained periods of time, then yes, this can be a really good book to read. Especially if you're doing it as a dystopian text and you're looking at the genre because it has all the elements and the elements are easily identifiable. You can easily break this down for a year eight student, year nine student, and they can identify the aspects of the genre. And they can write their own story of that genre and using this as an example. As an example for dystopian text, it's a good example. But if you were doing this as a text response in English and your students are not strong readers or they don't engage with long pieces of text, this is not the most appropriate text for them. Can the movie if you were doing if you were doing it as a comparison between two texts if you compare the movie the hunger games with another written dystopian text then the story itself yeah it can work but as the book if you've got really low readers or children with behavior issues not the best one i would put as a teacher or as a text for the australian curriculum for a dystopian text i rate it about eight out of ten because it is suitable it's not the best but it's a decent text there are a lot of resources for it so chapter summaries things like character analysis themes um, activities there, there's a lot of resources for it so it's suitable for a text for the Australian curriculum because you can have access to those resources most people even if they haven't read the book they know the storyline so as a text for the Australian curriculum 
it's suitable not something I enjoy but it's suitable um, for teaching it if you like this video please please press the like button down below if you want to be notified of when I upload other videos please press the subscribe button I look forward to reading your comments and seeing what everyone thinks see you next